Welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you um, some of the things I didn't like about the Tesla USB setup um, and what I did to fix them. So I'm going to go over some of the components that I got, uh, some of the modifications I made, and where I wound up. Okay, so first up, um, the front of the Tesla comes with two USB ports, which is nice, but two is not enough. So um, right off the bat, uh, for charging up at the top, um, it comes with this stock um, mat, which has the little ports underneath that you can plug in your phones to. Um, well, if you want to plug in two phones and you also want to have um, recording for the Sentry camera, um, you already ran out of ports. There's only two ports. You can't charge two phones and have a USB um, SD card. So the first thing I got off the bat was this um, really nice USB dock. Um, and I will put uh, a link in the comments. Um, but, so what it does is it plugs into those two ports um, and then it provides four ports. So it splits each of the ports. Um, it even provides, um, if you open this at the bottom here, it actually has two additional ports underneath that you can use. Um, so for example, if you wanted to put the um, SD card in here, you could do that. Um, for me, I bought this little USB uh, mount for the SD card, which doesn't quite fit in there. So um, I don't use those two ports underneath. But what's awesome is that it just fits in super snugly in here, which I don't know if I can do with one hand. Maybe I can't. So um, it almost looks factory once you've got it installed. It's a really awesome device. So the next thing I did was I really didn't like this uh, factory phone dock. So the way it works, it sits in there. Um, there's two little connectors that come up from the bottom of it and you can slide your phone in. Um, very quickly I found it really to be annoying to have to put your phone down there and wiggle it in properly. Um, going in and out a lot of times can, can damage the port and so I just found it really annoying. So what I did was um, I bought this wireless mount um, and this thing is really nice. So the way it works, um, it plugs into the two USB ports underneath um, and you plug it into the back of it and then um, it has multiple configurations. So let me um, slide that back in there. It's not quite seated, but uh, so you can have two phones uh, vertically. So you can see the, the little light lit up. Um, you could do one on each side so you can have two phones in at once um, or you can have a landscape phone on the bottom. So it's got um, three separate coils in here to do wireless charging. The next problem with the Tesla, um, and this is the most difficult to solve, is that um, the front ports here are only five volts and they don't provide enough power to do fast charging on phones. Um, however, there is a cigarette lighter in the back um, which is a 12 volt port and does have lots of power so it can provide fast charging. Um, so what you can do is, uh, I got this little device here and I'll post a link uh, to the comments. It is a quick charger, um, two USB port cigarette lighter adapter. And what you can see here, uh, if you can read that, see if it'll focus. Um, you can have, if you plug in two devices, you can have 1.5 amps for each port or three amps for one port. So that will do fast charging. And the issue is um, this wireless pad will actually support fast wireless charging, but only if you have a fast port. So these ports in the front here do not provide enough power in order to provide fast wireless charging on these mats. So now the issue becomes, how do we get the, the USB plug from here in the cigarette lighter all the way to the front for here? So um, I found a few tutorials for this online. Um, none of them were comprehensive showing you when you did it. Um, one guy took this whole thing out, which seemed completely unnecessary. Um, so what I'm gonna show you is how I do this. I haven't done it yet. Um, I watched some videos, but uh, I'm gonna show you as I do it. Um, the idea is um, you take a USB extension cable, uh, and I, um, I only wanna do this once. So I am going to install um, a USB extension cord um, so that if I ever have to replace this, um, it's fine. I'll have the, the male side um, at the cigarette lighter end. Um, and if I ever have to replace, uh, you know, if I want to change out this wireless pad or, you know, and use it for whatever else, um, I'll just have a, a female USB port on this side. 
Um, so the idea is you get one of these extension cables, and I'll post a link, but really any, any USB extension cable should work. Um, you pull off this channel here, uh, run it underneath, and then drill a hole um, in the front to get it through. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is pop out this channel. I already started popping it out. Um, it really is a little bit intimidating because it feels like you're going to break it, but um, you just have to pull kind of hard. There we go. All right, so yeah, it has these little tabs um, that pop right in there. So now you can see this metal channel. Um, and what we're gonna do is unscrew these. Oh, you can't see. Okay, so there's a bunch of, um, I think these are T20 um, star-shaped screws. Um, so we're gonna have to go get uh, a screwdriver with the appropriate bit. All right, got my screwdriver. I'm gonna take off these screws and uh, I'll speed this up so you don't have to watch how long it takes me. All right, now that we've got this open, uh, I'll show you the idea. Now, there is a little nub here that I've seen other people use to wire the, to run the wire. Um, I don't really like that. Uh, I especially don't think I'll be able to get two wires in there. So I think where I'm gonna do it is right here. Um, I think this is big enough I can get my paddle bit in there to make a big enough hole so I can thread this through it, um, rather than doing a notch on the top. Um, and then it is a little tight in here, uh, in this channel, but I think I'll probably be able to get um, two wires run through there. Uh, and then on this side, we've got plenty of space up here. The one thing to watch out for is you don't want to block this. So I am going to have to make sure that the wire doesn't get stuck and block this closing device. Um, but I think I'll be able to drill a hole over here and get it through into the front um, and drill a hole here to get it through to the back. All right, so first um, I'm gonna drill the hole in the front here. Um, now I got this half inch uh, paddle bit, which I think will be just big enough um, to get the USB cable through. Um, but first I'm gonna drill a pilot hole. Um, so I'm gonna go right, make sure it's nothing on the other side. All right, I'm gonna go right there. Now that we've got the pilot hole drilled, I'm gonna go with my paddle bit. Through. Now, let's see if that's big enough for a USB. Oh, and of course, I just realized that the female end is bigger. So, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get a bigger bit. All right, got my 5 eighths bit here. I'm going to try this. That's big enough. Uh, not quite. And keep in mind, once I get one wire through, I'm going to have to get uh, the other one through with the braided cable line. So time to go bigger. All right. Third time's a charm. I got my three quarter inch paddle bit. All right, I think that'll be good. Let's see. There we go. Got that in. Um, and we can still fit the second one. All right, so three quarter inch on the front. All right, so for the back, we're going to start with my pilot hole. Right here. All right, get my paddle bit. I don't think I have to quite go as big as three quarters this time because the male end's a little bit smaller than the female end. Uh, so we're gonna try five eighths. I think ought to do it. Let's see. And of course, I'm also hitting the rubber channel here a little bit, but that's all right. See if that does it. And I think we're good. 
get some of this plastic out of here. There's one. And let's see. All right, got both in. Now we have to decide how much slack to put on each end. Um, in hindsight, I probably could have got a smaller extension cable, but that's all right. Uh, we'll make it work. Extra slack is not so bad. All right, so I've got this laid out. Um, I was able to tuck it pretty well in on this side. Move that out of the way. Um, there's, it's pretty tucked in well. Unfortunately, over here, um, there isn't really uh, a whole lot of room to tuck it. Um, so it's kind of sticking out a little bit. I think, though, it'll probably be okay. Um, I'm gonna try to screw this in and let's make sure I'm hoping that this will work just kind of holding it like that while i screw it in um, i'll speed this up a little bit so you don't have to watch me do this All right, last step, we gotta snap this back in. All right, so we're all done. Um, I did have a minor issue where because we have two cables um, in that spot that I showed you before that sticks out a little bit, this won't really snap in all the way. Um, I think I'm gonna just not care. Uh, we could probably do something to get those wires a little bit tighter and get that snapped in, but I just don't care. Um, for each side, I was I, I grabbed a cable tie and just kind of tightened it up a little bit since we have extra slack. Um, plugged it into the uh, cigarette lighter, um, and then on this side, same thing, just kind of uh, tightened it up a little bit um, with the cable ties. But now we've got three free USB ports on the top there. Um, we're using the two fast chargers for the wireless charging, um, and when I put my phone in. It charges and it's actually charging fast now so um, the time to full is much lower than it used to be so that's it we're done um, no more messy wires uh, and we get fast charging hope you enjoyed the video